and hit OK and it will start the test. Huh, very interesting. So a company by the name of King Bolin sent this battery analyzer tester to me. I have never owned a battery tester. You know those ones that look like a portable handheld barbecue grill. I got the wire in it that heats up and all that, like Harbor Freight sells. I've always considered having one. Many times in the past I've had the need to use one. It would have been handy. But they sent this one to me to test out, so let's test it out. I'm not the expert on battery testers, but this one's pretty simple. I'll put a link in the description. They sell this thing on Amazon for 25 bucks or something like that. At the time I'm filming this video, they've got a sale going on. You can pick it up for about $20. I think it'll be something super handy. I really like the uh, compact size of this and the simplicity. So this particular tester, this is the BM550 Plus by King Bowen battery analyzer. It'll do a status of health, status of charge, internal resistance, and battery voltage. And then it gives you three different things here. A check mark in the green is good. Exclamation point yellow would be normal. And then an X in a red circle would be poor. So I got a couple of batteries we'll test out. Let's, let's open this up and we'll have a look at it. There is not a lot to it. This is your instruction book. Shows you how to connect it up. It does state that it has reverse polarity protection, so if you hook it up incorrectly, it supposedly it won't damage the unit, won't damage the battery. And then it's just got a few buttons on the front, a back arrow up and down to scroll through different menus, and then an OK button to select whatever it is that you've selected. It does not have batteries inside it. It actually runs off the battery that you're testing, assuming that the battery has enough power to turn the tester on. And then a couple of what appear to be pretty decent alligator clamps for connecting to your battery. They're small, but they open up quite large, and I suppose you could clamp that right onto a standard battery terminal if you have that style battery. So let's give it a test. I've got a very old, this is a sealed lead acid battery, maintenance free. This is probably more than 10 years old, and I know it's not a good battery. Uh, I can get 12 volts out of it, and it will take a charge. It gets pretty warm when I charge it, so it's probably all sulfated up, if that's even possible on a sealed lead acid battery, but it'll be a good battery to start with the test, just to see if we can uh, just check out the tester, and then we'll try it on a couple of car batteries, just to see how it does. Now this battery does not have uh, cold cranking amps, but it does have an amp hour rating at 10.5 amp hour. So we'll get as close as we can to that. And to get this thing to turn on, we just need to uh, clip it to the clips. And then it should turn on and it says clips error. Tilt this so you don't get the glare. And it gives us battery test or waveform. Let's go ahead with battery test. It's red and this is black. I don't know if that shows up on the video very well, but you can go back and forth between the two, whichever one you choose by one of these buttons, one of these up down buttons. So let's select battery test. This is a 12 volt battery. And then here it gives you a chance for cold cranking amps or amp hours. So we'll just scroll down and, and it's supposed to adjust either one automatically. I think it's around 100 amp hour or something like that. So we'll go down, or not amp hour, but 100 cold cranking amps or so. 160 gives us a 10 amp hour battery. So we'll select that, or we could go up just a bit higher since it's a 10.5 amp hour battery. Let's select OK, and that should test it. So the state of health is zero and it says poor. Resistance is 1,293, that's horrible. Should be, no wonder it gets hot when I charge it. This should be around five, I believe, max on ohms. Cold cranking amps, two out of 165. And it's showing 12.3 volts. So it does have voltage, but it just has no power. And then you can scroll through the menu and the different parameters with the arrow buttons. So state of charge, it's currently at 55%. And then the state of health was zero. Very, very poor battery. And uh, you can quickly determine 
the state of your battery using this tester. So let me disconnect this. We'll take it over to a vehicle. We'll hook it up on a car battery that I know is basically about a week old. And we'll check it out and see what it shows for that. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is in a uh, Chrysler Town & Country van. And this battery is less than two weeks old. It's a Duralast and it says on top of the battery that it has 750 cold cranking amps. This whole engine is warm. Just drove the vehicle. So I've got the positive over here. And the negative over here. The tester comes on with the same screen. So battery test or waveform. Let's try battery test. We know it's a 12 volt battery. And it said 750 on the cold cranking amp so it's currently on 6 5 or excuse me 520 so let's go to 750 if you hold the button down it goes quickly if you press it one time it'll just go up five cold cranking amp increments at a time 730 let's go 750 and then we'll hit OK to start the test it says the state of health is normal. It's 54%. 4.6 ohms on the resistance. 548 cold cranking amps out of 750. Now I don't know about that. I, I suppose maybe that'll depend on the temperature of the battery. I, you guys can tell me in the, in the comments if you know more about that than I do. And then it's showing 12.6 volts. Let's scroll through. It says state of charge, 98%. And it's showing normal. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it would show better than that. That's about a two-week-old battery. I, I don't know the date on the battery. I can't see the date stamp on it anywhere where it's mounted. It's probably down here on the side somewhere where I can't see it. Oh, 04 of 24, and this is uh, 6 of 24. We're in 7 of 24 right now at the time of the filming. So it's actually a pretty darn new battery. As you can see, it's real easy to use, real easy to check your battery's health. Let's try this out on one more car battery and we'll just see how it does there and then we'll wrap it up. This battery is uh, a Duracell Ultra 617. So it's about seven years old now. This is 2024 and it shows, nine, let's see, cold cranking amps. 640 and of course it's a 12 volt car battery so let's connect this up I do like the alligator clips on the tester it came on instantly and we'll run the test if I don't forget we'll look at that waveform and see what that's all about let's do a battery test 12 volt so what I say on that 640 on the cold cranking amps and hit OK and it'll start the test. It's only showing two cold cranking amps. It shows uh, 1268 ohms and 12.2 on the volts. So either the tester is inaccurate or this battery is just about at the end of its life. It is a seven year old battery. Showing state of charge is 46%. Well, I didn't want to hear that. But that's the, uh, that's the tester. Let's try a couple of other things. Let's go back to the menu here. And we'll try this waveform and see what that does. Okay. And I guess it shows voltage on the left side. Minimum 12.2, maximum 12.2. I guess if you're running a test while you're using a battery, you can see what the voltage is, is what that's about. The instructions don't really give much indication as to what that waveform is all about anyway I guess there you go let's go to battery test again and try this one more time on this battery what I say 640 on the cranking amps okay basically the same thing 1268 on the ohms two cold cranking amps and it's 12.2 with the state of health is zero so apparently this battery is done. But you know what? Seven years out of a car battery, that's pretty good.
looks like I'll be buying a new battery for that soon. So anyway, if you guys are interested in this, it's kind of nice to have a handy little battery tester. You can just throw it in your toolbox, throw it underneath the front seat or something, and you can take that with you. It's very small and convenient. Right now, if it's uh, on sale at, on Amazon for 20 bucks, you can pick one of these up. I think it's a pretty handy little tool. Unfortunately, I don't have any other testers to uh, compare it with to see if we get similar results. So I don't know how accurate it is, but uh, there you go. The video helped you out. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you go. And I'll put another video on the screen now. I think you might enjoy. We'll see you over there.